Hello everyone, welcome back to the ANSYS tutorials by the Knowledge Alpha. This video is a part of ANSYS Fluent uh, tutorial series and it is the very first video in the same. In this video, let us see about the heat transfer in a composite wall through ANSYS Fluent. Alright, we have a composite wall here which is made of three different materials, aluminum, steel and copper. Aluminum and steel are connected in parallel and the, this entire block is connected in series with the copper wall. So this is a composite wall and uh, here we have a heat flux which is acting on both aluminum and steel which is of the magnitude 2000 watt per meter square and we have convection at this wall which is of 25 watt per meter square Kelvin and the ambient temperature is 300 Kelvin. We have wall temperatures for the aluminum and the copper and the widths of the walls are given here. Alright, now let us jump into the video and see how to perform thermal analysis through Fluent. So this is the ANSYS interface. We are performing uh, fluid analysis so that's why I'm selecting Fluent standalone system. So let's start with the modeling. I'm going with design modeler. we can see the three planes here so this is a two dimensional analysis so I'm going to restrict myself to XY plane the units are in meters okay XY plane and I'm starting a sketch on it go to sketching and draw a rectangle let me get the dimensions. So this is 0 0.125 and this is 0 0.125 as well. Okay. You can zoom in. Okay, let's develop surface from it now. Go to concept and surfaces from sketches. Select this and change this to add frozen. Just click on generate. Now you have a surface developed. Now let me draw another block. So go to XY plane. Let me get the dimensions. Okay. So I'm repeating the same process basically. So one more sketch and that will complete another block. So this is 0 0.125 meters as well. Just select this sketch. Now we have our model ready. So we have three blocks, aluminum, steel, and copper. Okay, now let us proceed to meshing. Just minimize this and open your mesh. So here we have a file. Okay. So I'm generating the mesh. You can see that the default size is uh, 1.76 into 10 power, 10 power minus 2. So I'm just changing it to 0 0.005. 
clicking on generate so we have our mesh ready here now the next process in this analysis is to create name selections basically we are letting the software know uh, the names of different walls and the interfaces and the interior surfaces so that we can apply boundary conditions so I'm selecting this face this one steel and copper okay now I'm selecting the edges and this one is the heat flux This is heat flux two. Just renaming this to heat flux one. Okay. And now this one's our T one. And this is an adiabatic wall. This is our T two. So let me name this as adiabatic wall 1. This one is adiabatic wall 2. And here we have convection. Now we, we have to create interfaces we have a solid solid material and there are three different materials in a single composite wall so we have to create interfaces between each medium so let me select faces and hide this steel and aluminum Now the, this interface has been created, you can see the interface, this one's uh, steel aluminum and aluminum steel and I'm hiding this now, let's hide. So I'm creating interface on this side now. So I'm just naming it as interface copper. Okay. Now we have created name selections for all the walls in interior regions. You can see 
yeah all the interfaces now just click right click on mesh and click update now let's open fluent Here we can see that the interfaces are marked with yellow color and these are the three different zones. So we are doing a steady state analysis here. That's why we are selecting steady state and just go to models and turn on the energy. We don't have any flow here. That's the reason we don't have to worry about viscous model. So just go to materials and add all the three materials we already have aluminum here so let's add steel and copper so i'm just opening the fluent database so aluminum is already present so i don't need to add it again so i'm adding copper and steel just click on copy to cop copy these materials close click close you can see that all the materials are here now open cell zone conditions and assign materials to each of the faces so aluminum let's change it to solid and this is aluminum okay assign the respective materials to each of the faces so the steel is already steel so just click ok now let us give the boundary conditions go to boundary conditions so these are adiabatic walls so I'm starting with the heat flux as the heat flux was on two different walls I'm, I have divided that into two parts but the magnitude still remains the same so I'm just opening this we can see different types of thermal conditions here we have heat flux that's why I'm putting it as heat flux and the magnitude is 2000 and the material is aluminum for the heat flux one which is good okay now open heat flux 2 and we have a heat flux condition and it is 2000 as well and the material is steel okay now go to t1 which is our wall so it has a temperature boundary condition i'm going to temperature and the temperature is 403 kelvin so just enter it as 403 and the material is aluminum perfect and open t2 the t2 wall is right here so it was of magnitude 363 Kelvin so temperature boundary condition and 363 and we have a convection as well so I'm opening convection go to thermal and this is convection boundary condition so I'm selecting convection and the heat transfer coefficient is 25 watt per meter square Kelvin and the free stream temperature which is the ambient temperature which is 300 and the material is copper okay so we have defined all the walls all the heat conditions at the walls now let us see so for example this adiabatic wall it should have zero heat flux because it is adiabatic which is perfect okay and the wall two so adiabatic wall two it is not made of aluminum it is made of copper so I'm selecting copper okay oh by the way aluminum uh, adiabatic wall one it is made of steel so I'm selecting it as steel now th please make sure that these are of the type interface 
so all the interfaces we have created you can see that these are all interfaces and there are three interior surfaces okay now we have defined all our boundary conditions now go to mesh interfaces you can see that all the interfaces we have created are listed here so select all and just create just click on auto create perfect now just click close go to monitors and residuals now let's change this to 10 to the power of 8 minus 8 click ok just initialize the solution we don't have any flow here so there are not much complications involved so I'll go with hybrid initialization then go for run calculation and select the number of iterations you want I'm se just selecting thousand and just solve the problem now we can see that our solution is converged here it's pretty straight so we can go for graphics now and see the temperature control I'm selecting temperature it's the static temperature and you can select all the surfaces just click on save or display close so you can see the temperature control here so these are the three different materials one two and three you can see that the temperatures are different and you can see a neat pattern of how the temperature is varying in this composite wall that's all guys thanks for watching don't forget to watch our other videos please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you